or welcome to Power Surge. In this tutorial, I go back in time and capture previous revisions from a Revit model. Stick around to find out more. Typically, the rollback and restore backup tools are reserved for recovering a corrupted file. But in this tutorial, I show you how this tool can be used to reverse the project back to a previous version. Hi, my name is Serge and welcome to Power Surge, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. For example, on screen you can see that this project file contains three revisions, each reflective of a design change. Let's imagine that the client had a change of mind and requested the design revert back to revision B. Before I show you how to do this, let's get some context. Before Revit existed, most documentation was handled in AutoCAD or an equivalent. In these platforms, a new revision constituted a save as to create a new file. This meant that the operator could revert back to any of the previous versions at any time. Likewise, the same can be done in Revit. On screen, you can see the model has been archived via Save As at various revisions. This can be done when a project file is located on a network and does not have work sharing enabled. The downfall to this method is that the multiple files are consuming disk space. This is further compounded by each Revit file having its own backups. And also, the operator runs the risk of opening the wrong file. And now, let me demonstrate how to roll back this example project to revision B. I strongly recommend enabling the work sharing function to manage the revisions repository. On the Collaborate tab, find Show History. This will list the project history data, from the number of saves and the associated timestamps, to who was working on the file at the time and any associated comments. It is here on the comments column that I would like to focus some attention. These comments are added when synchronizing with Central. Notice that on this example project, the comments refer to specific changes in the model. Here are the three specific changes to the model for each revision and the comment added. Back to the history dialog. The blank cells in between each comment represent saves in between drawing submissions. This dialog can be exported out for version control by BIM managers. But notice that there is nothing here to suggest extracting this revision as a standalone file. So then how to recover revision B? This is done from the restore backup button. Clicking here will launch a different dialog. Path to the central file on the server and click on its backup. This will launch the project backup versions, similar to the project history, but with two distinct options below, such as rollback, which if you are recovering from a corruption, will roll back the whole project to a specific working version, or save as, which will allow the operator to extract a specific revision, such as revision B in this case, and save it as a standalone project file. And here it is, Rev B as noted in the name. And I also have the current model as a separate file. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. And I will see you in the next video.